Hello, hello, and how are we on this fine and wonderful day? Ha ha, yes, great. Hey, I was sitting up there and I said, you know what, what are you going to do? I said, man, I don't know, I need to do something. So I made me some coffee. Oh, man, yeah, I'm addicted to coffee, I drink a lot of it. I try to quit, but then guess what? And then I started having other addictions, and some of those addictions aren't good for you. So I said, hey, coffee won't kill me, I hope. I'll just get addicted to that. So that's my drink of choice. That and nice, some nice cold, fresh spring water. Oh, yes, I got to ask a few questions uh, about the, the clay balls. These here clay balls. Yes, you see some, yeah. Yes. Got to ask about them, and I said, you know, I said, well, hey, why don't you make a video on that? All right, so this is the clay balls, yeah, and this is the air dry clay pate from Walmart. And I didn't know, I expect if you scan that there bar, I don't know if you can it on your phone how that would work, but anyway, this is what I got. And then I made these clay balls, these little fellas here. And I made them in two different sizes. And how I did that is I bought these Lee bullet molds. I got, well, anyway, there's the, I don't know if you can see that or not. That's the label on one. And then there's the label on the other one. Huh? And I got those and they look like a this. Boing. This here is for the, the six nine round ball and there it is. As a matter of fact, I don't I think you can there is some remnants of clay still in there that I didn't clean it real good. But how you're supposed to use this is you got a lead pouring pot and it goes down through here and that cuts the lead off the top and you make lead balls with these. These dudes cost I don't I think there's like forty bucks for one of those. This one here is the big one. That's what that French pistol shoots, and it's still a little loose in the barrel, even on that. And this one here, oops, excuse me, is uh, the uh, like 20 gauge, and it's uh, it's got two balls in it. And I'll take the clay and I'll roll it out in a long tube, and I'll section it off, <clears throat> kind of like you would with uh, cinnamon rolls or something. And then I'll make the balls and go over them a couple different times, trying to get them as round as I possibly can and uh, makes it kind of nice. And this guy here, as you can see, that sets right in there like that. We'll put two of them in it. Make it fit her up, mate. Yes, and then the top comes down and I give him a gentle squeeze. I had this idea the other day when I was shooting the 12-inch uh, sea service pistol that uh, I would uh, take and take one of these guys, this little logic clip ball, huh? And put it in my mouth and then put it in the barrel. Bad idea. Uh, it, it instantly started turning back to clay. The funny thing about it though, and my camera quit working so I didn't get this on the camera, but if I had that camera on, I could probably give myself a good laugh because I'm like, man, that tastes sweet. That clay tastes sweet. What the hell is Walmart trying to do? Get our children to eat clay, huh? Because it didn't taste too bad. And I guess you get hit if it, if it was a revolutionary war and they shoot you in the ass with one of these, you get sugar diabetes. <laughs> oh man. Hey, this is brought to you by Jeff Peanut Butter. Yes sir, I love my Jeff Peanut Butter. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. That there comes from Sam's Club by Cracky, if you've been there. I've seen a video here a while back. Somebody went around, what was it? Costco's or Trader Joe's? Those stores are kind of similar. Similar, like the, uh, um, oh, you know, Home Depot and Lowe's. One's just a little more expensive than the other in some cases. So anyway, I thought I'd do this video real quick. And, uh, yeah, show you how I did that. The old clay ball in how to make them, huh? Yes, that is how we do it. And I got something else, too, I was playing around with. 
and uh, I'm gonna have to get some video done on that. It's a really nice day outside. I'm downstairs. I, I wanted to go outside. I thought, well, I do this outside. I will not be able to see the camera. So if it shuts off or something happens, uh, I won't be able to uh, to know it, and I'll miss all my footage. I hate missing my footage. This is me hat. I bought this hat off of eBay, and it, it didn't look quite like this when I got it. It was more of a of a triangle, and I kind of militarized it and put in some strings. And I need to get me a little better button there. I don't know about, about red, but give me something a little schmancier and put in there. So, but yeah, that's how we do it with the clay, with the clay, uh, clay balls. Huh? I don't know that it makes any difference if I put these in the wrong box since they both belong here. Unless you was to borrow it or something. So I wanted to make some 20 gauge uh, clay pumpkin balls. And I said, okay, here, let me loan it to you. And you'd have the wrong one because I got them in the wrong box. Uh, that would be the only problem. But I don't generally, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of loaning stuff out because for some reason, I say, Hey Ed, can I buy, can I borrow your your mold maker? And I'm like, well, uh, yeah, okay. So, because I I used to be extremely trusting. Like, okay, yeah, 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 here, take it. And they take that baby. I'd get ready to make me some. I wonder how long it'd be before one of them picked up. Um, I'd make me, uh, I need to do that. And I, oh man, I loaned my mold maker to so-and-so. So I asked him about it. <clears throat> and, uh, man, if you get it back, you're doing good. A lot of times they're like, ah, I had that and I loaned it to another guy. Well, I don't even know this other guy you loaned it to. You don't know him. So you're going to need to get it back, you know, and they don't, and you might as well just forget it. So after... I don't know how many times that happened to me. I said, that's it. I got a policy. My policy is I don't loan nothing out. And I felt bad about that. But you shouldn't feel bad about that. It's like everything else. People ruin stuff. They take a guy who'd help you out in every in any way that they could. And then they turn around and take advantage of him and everything. And it's a good person. And you're doing that. And then you wonder, huh, what's going on? They don't want to help nobody. Same way with like a boss at work. You got a boss. And he's like a real nasty boss. Get to us to work, he says. Oh, he's mean, mean. But he used to be a really nice guy. And he was like, hey, guys, let's have pizza and a good time, eh? Yeah, and enjoy our salads and get this work done. And the place almost went out of business. Nothing happened. They wouldn't do nothing. They won't work. And then he's had to get mean about it because he can't afford to be out of business, right? But you didn't know him when he was a real nice guy and bringing pizza in and all kinds of stuff and taking care of everybody and being a good person, which you can be too. Didn't know him then, but now you know him and he's nothing but an A double S. That's what people did to him. They changed him and he was a great guy. So, hey, oh, is that enough on philosophy and things of that nature? Well, it could be, could be. But, well, I guess the ultimate thing to do is that you find yourself and your happiness and it's difficult sometimes to uh, to find that and I would put out the best advice I could give anybody is if you're not happy in your job don't quit until you have another one and an income coming in to replace the one that you're gonna lose from quitting everybody says well you don't like your job quit how am I gonna pay my bills, right? They don't know. They don't. They don't even think about that. But I got to, cause I got to take care of that stuff. I just can't quit and walk off the old job, you know. Unless I got another one coming up. Usually, there's a lot of jobs out there if you want to get out and work doing something or another. They're not scarce, and people are always looking to hire good people that'll do the job. It'll take ownership of the place, you know, and treat it like it's theirs. That's why I have a high respect for these companies that are employee owned like we got a new gas station in got a gas war going getting gas at two dollars and ninety cents a gallon Woo! it's sheets and i thought man i gotta look them up and see just what kind of you know business we're dealing with here turns out it's family owned 
been around since the 1950s. Um, Ten percent of it's owned by the employees, so ah, that sounds like a pretty good deal. And they're really helping uh, keep the fuel prices down. Ah, yeah. I like it that. I don't travel very much or go anywhere. I try to stay at home as much as I can. Sometimes I like to go out and look around, but uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes I do. I got to go out. You can't stay in the house forever. No, that's right. You don't want to become a, a hermit, a hermit crab. That's right. You got to get out a little bit. So, anyway, that's some of the stuff. And, you know, hey, that's why you don't trust everybody. It's because other people, you just finally say, hey, I've had enough of this. And you don't have no tools. They just come and take your stuff and never bring it back, huh? And it's like, guys, what the heck? Hey, I'll come over to borrow me own drill back. But I don't have a drill and I need to drill something. So my philosophy is I worked, I earned me pay, and I bought me own drill. You need to do the same thing. Buy your own drill. Right? Yes, buy your own drill. Anyway, Jeffy Peanut Butter. I love that stuff. I put it on apples. Put a little salt on apple. Mm, delicious. It's that time to get some apples. Get you some. Get to the orchard. Get you some apples. They are good. So it is the time for apples and a little bit. I put a little salt on the apple. It's really good. And I'll eat them with Jiffy peanut butter. So I'm trying to get myself in better condition and better shape. I, and ah, man, it's a struggle, huh? It's way past the struggle. It's almost impossible, but I'm trying. So anyway, Clay from Watermark, the stuff here. And hey, you know what I did? Let me show you. I took these two plastic bottles. Now don't, don't, don't judge. Yes, they were kind of like little liquor bottles. <laughs> Somebody picked them up and said, hey, those taste nasty. And so I, I tried them and yeah, they are kind of nasty. But anyway, I took some spray sand or some sand and put in them. I put a little piece of leather around here and hooked them together. They is plastic. But I made myself and I put a piece of, there's duct tape on the inside there. It's a brown, it's a tan duct tape with a hole in it. And I made myself an hourglass because I've been looking at hourglasses and I've been wanting to buy one. And I need an hourglass like I need a hole in me head. And I'm not sure what this times out to but it's got a little bit too much sand in it and I didn't take it all out. But it does run, does it not? Your time is running out. This is all the time you got. And then we're gonna make you walk the plank. So anyway, yeah. Well, with that note, we probably ought to sign off of here as we're into the video way too long, right? But anyway, that is me homemade hourglass. I liked it. I said, I ain't gonna make me one, huh? I liked it, but I still got this urge to buy one because they're pretty cool, but I wanted a really big one. Pretty cool stuff, huh? And then, well, you know, sometimes, uh, <laughs> you just feel crazy, crazy! I don't know how that's going to look when I watch this back, but I'm going to go ahead and put this video up before I do it because <laughs> I'm sure that I'll be, I'll embarrass myself pretty bad and I won't want to put it up. I'll say, nope, nope, nope. No, I can't put that up there for people to see. Anyway, just trying to have some fun. Need to be outside. It's really nice. I got some other stuff to do. But I thought, well, I'm going to go downstairs and, and go over this clay ball molding stuff and I got those clay or I got them molds from Midway USA they were about the, the most reasonable and lowest price on the internet and of course this clay it come from Walmart lovely uh, lady of the house picked that up for me one day I called up and said hey can you pick me up some clay and so she did and so we have some clay and let's let's sign off with a sip of the old coffee and if you watch previous videos you know what coffee it is Ah, 
I did a video on here. How do you get two cups of coffee out of one pod in the old Kruger? Right? All right, man. Take it easy. We'll see you later.